हेलो फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स वेर इंक्वायरिंग अबाउट द बुक्स दैट आई हैव रिटर्न ऑन फिजियोलॉजी सो हेयर इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ बुक्स दैट हैव बीन पब्लिश सो फार मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फॉर पी जी एंट्रेंस प्रिपरेशन द रिसेंट वन न्यू कॉर्टेक्स Uh, is for first MBBS students for their exam preparation. First two were published by Elsevier, then uh, the Treasures was published by Pulse Publications, and then there are mobile applications which have been published so far. Again, many of them for PG entrance preparation. The most recent one is for all the medical students, whether first MBBS student or uh, PG entrance preparation. It is an AI enabled app. It contains MCQs and lots of other things. however this video is not about me as an author this video uh, is an attempt to answer two most commonly asked questions by every medical student first question is do we have to purchase and uh, study only from the standard textbooks and you know uh, the most globally accepted universally accepted standard textbooks are guyton and ganong for physiology Uh, uh for ganong i would say it's a physiology review for somebody who has read physiology once and understood it but guyton yes uh, guyton is the most universally accepted standard textbook for first mbbs level so do we have to purchase and read only from guyton that's the question number 1 and second question is do we have to make our own notes in our own handwriting and how to make uh, notes so i am going to attempt in this video to answer these two questions all right while i was uh, planning for this video elsevier sent me a complimentary copy of the guyton the most recent edition of guyton published this year uh, south asia edition of guyton so let's unbox and see what's in store for us what's new in this edition while i am unboxing it reminds me of uh, a legendary story uh, of battle between sikandar and porus porus the king was on the verge of losing the battle he is captured and is brought in front of the of sikandar uh, and sikandar asked him tell me how should i treat you porus the king even though captured uh, says treat me as if one king treats another as one king will treat another to samjha नहीं तू नहीं समझा दोज हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्टेक्स्ट आर गोइंग टू ट्रोल मी हैवीली बट टेक इट इन अ लाइटर सेंस इट वाज ओनली ऑन अ लाइटर नोट दैट आई सेड दिस दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड टेक्स्ट बुक रेड वर्ल्ड ओवर जनरेशन टू जनरेशन इफ यू आस्क योर पेरेंट्स इफ दे आर मेडिकोज वॉट वॉज द बुक फॉर फिजोलॉजी दे विल से गाइटन इफ यू आस्क योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स वॉट वॉज द बुक फॉर फिजोलॉजी बैक देन again guyton so this is the ultimate book uh, i can see here that there is a short book which is being called the mind maps in physiology now uh, it contains all the flow charts on various topics so it's going to be a quick rapid revision of physiology toward the end once you have read the physiology from main textbook and here is the guyton south asia edition what's new in this apart from uh, arrangement as cbme based curriculum you know a uh, cbme based arrangement makes uh, it easier for the indian students or students from indian subcontinent apart from that uh, lots of clinical case based questions mcqs towards the end in my favorite chapter of cvs i can see lots of new graphs new diagrams etc all in all again this is the book if you want to buy this by a standard textbook guyton is the ultimate book yes all right so uh, what all what all things can be said about guyton generally and about the new edition these are the strengths concepts guyton has conceptual explanations you see whether cvs rs cns kidney these chapters require lots of concepts and clinical applications and guyton is very very strong over there you will never forget those concepts even if you proceed further so uh, it's going to be your lifelong companion you know physiology uh, uh, is a lifelong subject for any other subject generally it is said that once you 
have gone beyond that year those books are not relevant anymore to you but that's not the case with physiology and that's not the case with guyton because physiology comes in every other subject of medicine this is going to be your lifelong companion and uh, cbme based arrangement of the topics all in all this is going to be a great purchase for you go ahead and uh, take guyton read from it make a solid foundation and solid start to your medical career uh, weaknesses of guyton if any and am i even eligible to talk about the weaknesses uh, i am a nobody but then uh, uh, many students said that uh, formation of answers towards the end becomes a uh, little difficult if you read guyton because it's a conceptual presentation not in the format of question answers so making of answers is maybe the only drawback about uh, guyton and uh, recent advancements here and there are missing but apart from that if you want to have a solid foundational start to your career go for guyton all right now guyton does not give you question answer format formation of answers is little difficult there comes the uh, importance of making notes uh, so do we have to make our own notes if you want answer to this question first you have to answer yourself whether you are good at it whether it's your strength what is what do i mean by saying good at making the notes you know uh, many students while writing the notes they write everything from the textbook each sentence that's not how notes are made and i'm that that will be a useless exercise uh, plus many students senior students teachers might tell you how to make notes you know this is like uh, you have read 100 books on how to swim but never gone to the swimming pool actually and jumped into the water that will be a useless exercise unless you start making notes by yourself you won't become proficient in that so it's a good idea to make your own notes you will have to have a good handwriting you will have to have uh, you you should be able to draw good diagrams and you should understand core concepts of each topic there's no point writing every sentence from the book then that's not uh, how the notes are prepared so how do we make the notes first step is go to the department when when the college starts and uh, uh, collect the pyqs previous year questions or question bank on physiology uh questions that have been asked in last 5 or 7 years university questions university exams uh that gives you the idea as to how the questions are framed for for each individual topic for example uh cardiac cycle the question will be define cardiac cycle write the phases in cardiac cycle and uh, uh what are the pressure and volume changes in a cardiac cycle so you know this much matter will be required if this question is asked and from that perspective you start making the notes so that will be the first step uh, you should understand and slowly you will understand what to write and what can be omitted so uh, once in a while you make the notes and go to the department and uh, ask the teachers take their opinion about your notes whether these notes are good enough whether they are uh, sufficient to fetch you maximum marks so take their opinion and this is how you will slowly improve and eventually will become proficient in making the notes every page of your notes should have flow charts or diagrams or tables or all of them this is how notes should be prepared and this is how answers also should be written i will make a separate video on the exams uh, and how you write the answers and how you face the viva but uh you know our visual memory is strong when you are writing an answer in the exam you recall a point like this you go to that page and on that page on the top left corner there is this diagram and beside that diagram this 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 has been written this is how you recall those particular points and then uh, write them in the exam so similarly there should be lots of highlights in your notes also notes themselves are highlights uh, of a particular topic but make highlights underline uh, 
making the box in front of important points that is how uh, later on you can recall those points very easily so this is how you make the notes and use your own language a very important point uh, many students learn by rote they mug up the things learn by heart and try to reproduce it as it is and some of the points are missed out uh, rather a better strategy would be use your own language first understand it in your own sense in your own language and then try to write the notes and uh, reproduce them in exam in your own language this is always appreciated apart from the definitions and scientific uh, terminology or phraseology other things can be expressed in your own language but remember definitions uh, and scientific terms they should be uh, left untouched i mean they should be expressed as it is i remember there was a student and uh, we used to ask the question on dwarfism dwarfism short statured individuals he had remembered it in his own language as childism he used to write the answer on childism i mean uh, it is a deficiency of growth hormone etc but this is not acceptable dwarfism is dwarfism you can't call it childism just because it's a short statured individual anyways so the point is always learn in your language uh, always see what's the core thought in that particular uh, topic imbibe that uh, core thought and then express it in your own language start making the notes slowly but steadily you will become prof proficient in making the notes uh, and uh, then you will be able to easily write it in the exam so for this video uh, that's all signing off but many more such videos are coming up so it will be a good idea to subscribe to the channel